today's topic is testing of hypothesis uh, first we have to know that what is statistical hypothesis any assumption taken on a population regarding its probability distribution or its parameters is called a statistical hypothesis this hypothesis may or may not be true for example we assume that the mean of a population is 60 then mu is equals to 60 is a statistical hypothesis there are two types of hypothesis number 1 is simple hypothesis now what is simple hypothesis a statistical hypothesis which specify the probability distribution and all related parameters of a population is called simple hypothesis and Uh, number 2 is composite hypothesis a statistical hypothesis which does not specify the population completely is called composite hypothesis for example uh, if we consider the population of lifetime of an electric bulbs which is manufactured by a company and uh, let uh, the lifetime be normally distributed with standard deviation 4 then we have to test its mean and if we uh, see that the mean, uh, mean is equals to 600 or 60 something uh, then this is the simple hypothesis where all the characters of the population is specified okay and if we uh, consider a population of weekly wages of a workers in a big industry and uh, the population is normally distributed whose mean and st uh, standard deviation are unknown 
then that is uh, the composite hypoth hypothesis okay then we have to know that what is null hypothesis <clears throat> test of hypothesis starts with a statistical hypothesis a statistical hypothesis a statistical hypothesis whose possible acceptance or rejection is tested on the basis of sample observation is called a null hypothesis it is denoted by a0 for example if you let the mean of a population is 40 the uh, <clears throat> the mean of a population is 40 and uh, by some statistical analysis statistical analysis we have to test whether our assumption may be accepted or rejected then the assumption mu is equals to 40 is a null hypothesis and it is noted that a0 mu is equals to 40 next alternative hypothesis A statistical hypothesis which is different from the null hypothesis is called alternative hypothesis and it is denoted by H1 now if we consider if we consider null hypothesis is a0 that is mu is equals to 60 then h1 mu not equals to 60 is 
alternative hypothesis. Okay, and again, if it is seen that there is no chance of mu being less than 60, then we take H1 which is mu greater than 60 as a alternative hypothesis. Alternative hypothesis. Similarly, alternative hypothesis of uh, H0 mu is equals to 60. And similarly, H1 mu less than 60 may be also considered alternative hypothesis to H0 mu is equals to 60. Okay. Now, um both sided alternative hypothesis what is this now let h0 say mu is equal uh, sorry theta is equals to theta 0 theta is equals to theta 0 be a null hypothesis where theta is a parameter ok then the alternative hypothesis alternative hypothesis Mm, what is H1 uh, theta is equals to uh, sorry theta not equals to theta 0 is called both sided alternative hypothesis alternative hypothesis this is for example the alternative hypothesis the alternative hypothesis h1 mu not equals to 60 is both sided alternative hypothesis alternative hypothesis against the null hypothesis h0 mu is equals to 60 where mu is the mean of the population okay next we have to know that what is one sided alternative hypothesis let H0 that is uh, theta is equals to theta 0 be a null hypothesis where theta is a parameter ok then the alternative hypothesis 
alternative hypothesis h1 where theta greater than theta 0 is called one sided this is right as theta greater than theta 0 so this is the right alternative hypothesis or one sided alternative hypothesis and uh, the alternative hypothesis H1 where theta less than theta 0 is called one sided uh, that is left alternative hypothesis. Next statistic to test the possible acceptance or rejection of a null hypothesis We have to take the help of a statistic whose sample distribution, uh, sorry, whose sampling distribution, distribution is known. Then by evaluating the value of the statistics, evaluating the value of the statistics, we decide whether the null hypothesis is to be rejected or accepted. This is called, this statistic is called T statistic. Okay. For example, if we let that is H0 where mu is equals to 60 be a null hypothesis where mu is the population mean. And let the population is normally distributed with standard deviation sigma is equals to 3. And we consider the statistics x, we consider the statistics statistics x the sample mean now its sampling distribution its sampling distribution Its sampling distribution is known as normal V 
with mean mu is equals to 60 and standard deviation is equals to 3 by root over of 15 where 15 is the sample size okay then we compute the value of x bar for a sample which is drawn from the population drawn from the population and uh, from this value from this value we decide whether a0 is accepted or rejected so here x bar is the test statistic statistic okay now selection of test statistic selection of test statistics depends on the character of population sample and null hypothesis next we have to know that uh, what is critical region region of acceptance and level of significance let H0 be the null hypothesis and T be the test statistic by which we decide whether H0 is accepted or not this decision is based on probability consideration probability consideration usually a lower probability say alpha for example 0 0.05 or 0 0.01 etc is taken under consideration and let probability of a less than is equals to t less than is equals to b which is equals to 1 minus alpha ok now if a computed value of t lies within this interval a b then we decide a 0 is accepted at 
alpha level of significance. or 100 alpha percentage level of significance okay and the interval ab is called region of acceptance region of acceptance corresponding to corresponding to alpha level of significance okay now if a computed value T lies beyond the interval A B and we decide A zero is rejected at alpha level of significance. This region is called, this region is called critical region, critical region or CR of the test at alpha level of significance. Okay. There are some notes. One is the region of acceptance or critical region that is CR is not unique corresponding to corresponding to level of significance number 2 is if a computed value uh, computed value of the test statistic statistic T falls in a critical region that is CR then A0 is rejected number 3 is Falling of computed value in CR is the complement of falling of computed value in the acceptance region, region of acceptance. Region of acceptance that means the probability probability of a computed value of T lies. Uh, within the CR that is critical region 
is equal to 1 minus probability of a computed value of t lies within region of acceptance region of acceptance that is equal to 1 minus probability of a less than t less than b that is 1 minus 1 minus alpha which is equal to alpha that means probability of a computed value uh, of t which uh, lies within the cr is equals to alpha Okay.